right, so today we are looking at how to color grade some footage in Premiere Pro by adding a LUT on top of it. And it's a really simple process. So we're gonna take this piece of footage here from looking like this to looking like this. So as you can see, I've got my footage on here on the timeline. And first things first, you're gonna navigate up to the workspaces and select the color workspace. Now straight away you'll see on the right hand side you've got the Lumetri color panel and first of all we're going to actually navigate down to the project window in the bottom left you're going to select new item and then click adjustment layer and just check that the adjustment layer settings are all correct with your sequence mine's looking all good so I click OK and you'll see this adjustment layer appear in the project window so just go ahead and grab that click and drag and you want to drop it on the track above your footage. So I'm just going to drop that there. And then next, you just need to drag this to make sure that it covers the whole footage beneath it. Now, the reason I use an adjustment layer is because I can then basically make whatever changes, whatever color corrections and grading I want on top of the footage. And then if, for whatever reason, if something goes wrong or I just need to get rid of that color correction, I can very easily just delete this or click over here, toggle the track, you don't have to see it. So I just prefer this way, there's, there's other ways to do it, but this is the easiest and most straightforward in my opinion. Now, next up, make sure that you've got the adjustment layer selected on your timeline. Don't make the mistake of having the footage below selected. It's gotta be the adjustment layer. And then you can navigate up to here on the right hand side in your Lumetri color panel You'll see straight away you've got basic correction and the first option is input LUT. So you're going to click this, drop down menu and click browse. And then you need to navigate to wherever you keep your LUTs. So as you can see, I've got plenty downloaded and saved. And I know straight away that I like this one called Heiko. So I'm going to double click and straight away the LUT has been applied. So you can see this is with the LUT, that's without with the LUT, without, nice and easy. And a little trick, if, if you find that maybe you don't quite like the LUT or it's a little bit too intense for you, if you just come over to the effects controls on the left, you can see here you've got the drop down option of opacity. So just go to opacity and you can change the intensity. Here. So maybe I just put in 50%. And there you go, you can see the difference straight away. Maybe that's a little bit too much, so I change it again to 75%, and that is, that's looking pretty, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's as simple as that. This is with the lot, that's without. Just a little change there. And that's really all there is to it. You can just drop these adjustment layers right along your timeline across any footage you want. And let's say you had other pieces of footage on your timeline, you can then select the Lumetri color changes that you've done in the effect controls, just copy that over and paste them onto your other adjustment layers.